Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be down at the Growth Point International Boat Show right here in beautiful Growth Point, Michigan. I'm having an absolute blast at the Great Lakes Boating Festival here. So while I'm here, I'm kind of wandering around and I'm looking for some fun and exciting new products to report to you guys on. And do I have a doozy here? This is the new 38 Tierra, is it called a LS? LS, yep, it LS. means luxury sport. And I'm here with Brett. Brett Moomy, Skipper Buds, yes Brett, sir. Brett, pleasure to meet you, my man. Tell me about this boat, because this is, I mean, I walked by it, and I was just like, I got to stop and see this. There's so many amazing features. Yeah, so the, uh, the claim to fame first that's got all of the attention with this boat is this rear seat. So you have this excellent seat that really opens up the cockpit with quite a bit of space. But um, what won the, uh, I believe it was the Miami International Boat Show Award for innovation was this, this patented rotating seat. So uh, I'm from the other side of the, the lake. Or state over in Lake Michigan where we get the sunset. So this is a big thing for us. I'll take the kids out during the day, they're swimming, whatever. You've got an awesome visibility when you're sitting at the seat looking over the engines and then to sit out there and kind of watch the sunset as it as it uh, cruises down is, is pretty cool. And then obviously when you're underway, flip it back around and, and you've got a nice comfortable seat forward facing uh, to sit with the rest of your passengers. So you can do this at any time you want. It's not just a matter of sitting back watching the sunset. If you're, do, do you run this underway like this? Um, not recommended, yeah. you know, just for safety purposes. Uh, you know, the, the law is a little bit open on, on interpretation of, of whether you could or not, but, okay. but not recommended. <laughs> <laughs> that is the first thing that's really cool about this boat. Everything else, this is a drop dead sexy boat. It Tierra is. is not in the habit of making these kind of center consoles. Yeah, this is this was their first in their uh, their new sport series. So Tierra separated out. Uh, now they've got the Tierra yachts, of course, which we carry, and then the sports as well. So the mm -hmm. sports are the luxury day boats. So outboard, high performance, super uh, rough water capable hulls, sure, sure. and then all the fit and finishes that you're used to with solid teaks and Corian and, and all of that, uh, especially the vinyl on this boat, they, they hired in an, an outsourced company that specializes in high-end uh, automobile finishes. So they really updated the, the interiors to be a little bit more sporty, a little higher end, and, and it really shows throughout the boat. So All made in America. All made in America, that's <laughs> right, yeah, hand-built. Now, at the helm, it's very impressive. The instrumentation, what kind of power do we got back here? So there's a few different, there's three different power options. They just announced our, our partnership with Mercury on these boats. So okay. uh, historically, we were doing triple Yamaha 350s only. Okay. Um, with the exit of Pursuit from the Tierra, that's the Slicker family, mm -hmm. uh, I think that might have opened up some more opportunities. So we've seen seven Marines now. You can oh, get yeah. twin 527 seven Marines that um, push the boat to the same speed as the triple 350s, but you're going to get a little bit better performance sure. uh, in as far as a whole shot, you can plane the boat at like 13 miles an hour, which is, is oh slow. <laughs> and then uh, you get a, I don't know, 20% or something better fuel economy out of those twin engines as okay. opposed to triples. Or you can do uh, a triple Mercury 400 standard Verados as well, which uh, we anticipate that pushing a little bit quicker, having a little bit better fuel economy and, and whatnot. So uh, we're excited to see kind of the benefits of of Yamaha versus the benefits of Mercury sure, sure, versus sure. the benefits of Seven. Of so sevens. we cover it all here. Love it. So yep. down below, when you walk through down below in this boat, you're looking at it from the outside and you're thinking, okay, it's a center console, but the amount of space yeah. and the engineering that went into that, that's yep. exciting. Tell that's us about it. it. I mean, it's a, a two couples can easily stay on the boat. You've got a, a full size bed down there, a nice stand up head where you've got plenty of head height, you don't feel like you're hunching in, and then you've got a curtain that goes down in that head as well to make it a full wet head so you can actually shower on the boat. But okay. you're right, yeah, typically people are using these as their day boat. We have, uh, and Tierra saw the same thing, a ton of customers were buying these 30, 38, 40, whatever foot boats yeah. that were cruising boats because once, twice, three times a year, they were gonna do these overnight trips on it. Right. Rest of the time they're day boating. Yeah. So they were giving up all their, their exterior space, which was 90% of their use, to be able to get a little bit of interior space or more interior space for their 10% of use. Yeah. So now people are, are realizing they can either, A, overnight on this, or if we're gonna go for five days, hey, we're just gonna grab a hotel for that one trip, because yeah. every other day we're going out to cocktail and dinner or whatever else. Right, so right. that's been the big, big push. Brand new model, 2019. I mean, you guys are just getting this out on the scene, correct? 
Yeah, so this model came out and a model came out 18, uh, mid-year 18 model okay, year. Okay. And then it's it, it's taken off. This is the first season that we have this boat actually in stock. Okay. We're the biggest TR yachts dealer in the world. So sure. uh, we, we order more than anybody else and every single one of them up until just a month or so ago yeah. uh, had been retail sold before we ever got our hands on it. So finally we're able to show them in our market and not relying on, on on manufacturer owned boats for our right, Florida boat right, shows right. and that kind of thing. Right, so, right. Well, and as you walk around the exterior of the boat up here on the deck, you notice not only is there a lot of space, but it's well thought out space. Like I can see the grill back here, the sink, kind of the exterior kitchen area, a lot of seating area around here. Again, a lot of thought went into this. They did, a, again, an excellent job. And, and this boat um, has probably been one of the best new model received boats to the market that that i've seen and it's for all of those reasons you sure, know the, sure, sure. the performance the rough water capability is is incredible you know uh, the first one of of this model that i delivered my my owner has had a lot of fun boats and he was really pushing it so we were we were in four or five footers and he was going 40 45 miles an hour oh, so wow. we were exiting the water and then uh <laughs> he had the sea keeper on so you'd exit at a little bit of an angle on a wave and ping straight up and down in yeah. that the, the re-entry to the water was, was incredible and that uh, he sea trialed the boat before he, he, uh, he purchased it and, and that was the big thing. He, we went out in five, six footers and he goes, there's shook my hand after five minutes and goes, it's a done deal, you know, because it's, it's <laughs> Do impressive. Do these come with sea keepers in them or is option. it an option? Okay. It's an option. Okay. Yeah. Because those are awesome. Yeah. We're, I think the take rate is probably 80, 90 percent or something from the factory on this model. Uh, the 34, which we have another one over here, the 34 foot version, that take rate's a little less trying to be competitive on, on price point, sure, but, sure, sure, sure. um, you know, Seakeeper, once you have it, it's, it's almost impossible go to go back. <laughs> yeah. Skipper Bud's great company. My God, you guys have done such a phenomenal job with that company over the years. You've got locations throughout all the Great Lakes. So I'm going to assume that if I'm Skipper Bud's customer, I can get this boat anywhere. Just about. Yeah. So we represent for Tierra yachts. We represent, uh, the, the majority of the Great Lakes. There's one competing dealer, uh, that represents a small portion in, in northern Michigan. Okay. The rest of, of the Great Lakes is us, which you're correct. You know, the ability to service, whether you're tripping yeah. uh, around the Horn yeah. over yeah. to uh, southeast Lake Michigan or over to Wisconsin or Chicago and having that service center down through Ohio, wherever it's at, is, is a big selling point for us. And it's, it's nice because we have that grasp of a corporate huge company, but we're family owned. So our right. decision makers are a phone call away. Um, and they, they have that drive to still uh, give, give the, uh, you know, the, the feels that a customer buying a, yeah. a price point boat of this caliber should get. So oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's really a good, good situation. Personal service and determined, yep. determined effort. I love it. Okay, so if I can make it right down to the Gross Point Boat Show, uh, where am I going to go online to find out more information about no, not just Terry Yachts, but everything that Skipper Buds has going on now. Skipperbuds.com. So if you go straight to skipperbuds.com, you'll see all of our, our different manufacturers okay. that we carry. We have uh, uh, quite a few brands that we're the, the number one dealer in the world for. Yeah. And uh, of course, there's some power with that for us and buying power and everything else that, that comes with it. But uh, skipperbuds.com is an awesome source. You can see kind of a grasp on what we have, including our partnership with Silver Seas Yachts which oh, yeah. represents the entire West Coast. And we uh, just opened a dealership in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Nice. So now we represent for cruisers, yachts, uh, you know, Fort Lauderdale all the way up to uh, a ways. Bangor, <laughs> yeah. Maine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, a lot of that East Coast is, is uh, I love it. Is serviced by us. So. You can do service, marinas, new boat sales, brokerage sales. You take the boater through the entire boating experience, and I love that about Skipper Buds. Brent, thank you so much hey, for thank your time you. today. Yeah, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. As do I. Skipperbuds.com, guys. You're going to fall in love with this boat. Make sure you go by there. Check out everything that they have to offer at a location near you, especially here on the Great Lakes. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you out on the water.